Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Now, before starting anything on the Sitecore JSS, let's try to understand its architecture, that how it's going to be work. So if you want to install Sitecore JSS, first you need to install Sitecore. Okay. It can be your XP or XM where you can create your website into the MVC. So XP is the base product. You have to install it. Okay. On the top of that, now you can, you have to install uh, two packages. One is your Sitecore Experience Accelerator okay. and second is your Sitecore JSS package. So when you are installing this package, it will install few modules here. So it will install layout services, SXA component, PowerShell extension. Okay. So your SXA toolbox will always work with this SXA component. We have to focus here on the Sitecore JSS side. So here, whenever you are uh, installing the Sitecore packages, it will use it, it will uh, install the modules related with rendering engine, uh, import services, dictionary services. You can use the GraphQL queries. Uh, you can uh, you can show different images uh, from your site core, and it uses this layout services. We'll see all these one one by one in our upcoming session. And on the top of that, once you have this package, then you can create your front end application by using Angular, Vue, or React. Uh, in 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 latest version, they also started to support the uh, Next.js. Okay. So this was the architecture in Sitecore uh, till Sitecore 9. But now they have changed it little bit more. Okay. So from the Sitecore 10, they have again changed it something here. So the, your base is again same. Your Sitecore Experience Accelerator, this is also same. But here they have changed it. Okay. So now they have started to call it as a Sitecore Headless Services. From Sitecore 10, they called it as a Sitecore Headless Services. Why? Because now they are started to support the .NET Core as well. So now you can use. So you have two options right now if you want to create headless application. Either you can use the uh, JSS JavaScript uh, SDK through the Angular, Vue, React, Next.js, and uh, if you are not good with with the JavaScript, then you can write your code into the C sharp, but by using the .NET Core. Okay. So you can use the .NET Core, you can write the C-sharp code and then you can use it. So that's why instead of calling this just merely JSS, uh, now they, are, they have started to call it as a Sitecore Headless Services. Okay. So within this Headless Services, with the .NET Core and JSS, uh, these four components are common. The layout services are common, GraphQL is common, image uh, media handler is common, rendering engine is common. Within the JSS, it has its own functionality related with dictionary and the import services. So these are very uh, private to the JSS. These are not available with the .NET Core. But yeah, rest of the four modules, they are available with the .NET Core as well. So in our earlier, till Sitecore 9, you can use only Sitecore JSS. But now from the 10 series, you can use the .NET Core and you can use this uh, JSS as well. So the, you have the two options. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.